Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to consume a RESTful web service in Java. Uh, I'm going to use JLC library for that, so you might want to go and download JLC library first. Just click on the first link available. Uh, so this is the official download uh, website for JLC. So at the time when I'm creating this video, it's a JLC 2.x version. So if you are having any higher version, it's not going to be a problem. So once you have extracted all the jars you will see three different folders here so each folder holds a different jars so don't worry about that just uh, go to your ID uh, I'm gonna create a standalone project here you no know, just just for demonstration so if you are creating a web service client for you know any web projects or any other frameworks in Java it's going to be almost same but uh, there might be a little bit configuration that's necessary so apart from configuration the coding part is going to be same so uh, I'm gonna call my project as let's let's just say demo and then I'm gonna stick to default settings so in my demo project I'm gonna quickly create a new folder just to hold all my libraries so new folder I'm gonna call it as library folder so I'm gonna quickly copy all the jars which I have downloaded so f so as I told you you will see three different folders just copy all the jars available in all the three folders so go to first folder and then copy the jars and then paste it in library folder here and then just do the same for second folder also so the good thing is that you may or may not use all the jars uh, which I'm we are going to copy here no, just for the safe hand, I'm just copying all the jars. Just paste it here. So now that you have copied and so now that you have pasted all the jars in your library folder, just don't forget to add to you know class path. Select all the jars and then just add to bull path. All right, just uh, check in reference libraries. Make sure that all the jars are available. So once you have added all the jars now, uh, you can directly use JSC library now. So I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call my class name as book. Alright, so as I told you guys, I'm working on a standalone application here. So if you are working on any web projects, uh, it's, it's going to be same, don't worry about that okay so so there are few things you need to there are few steps you need to follow when you are creating a client for a web service rest web service well the first thing is going to be uh, create a client this is just a skeleton create a client and then the second thing is obviously you need to set a target to your client set a target to client and the next thing is obviously so once you have a client and then once you set a target to your client uh, the final thing is uh, you just need to get response from the from the web service just thing is get a response so these three are the basic building steps to create any restful web service client so uh, as a tool uh, to implement all these things uh, all the functions and methods uh, sorry classes are already defined in JLC library so we're just going to use that classes and methods to create a client so the first thing is create a client so just use client so I'm going to call my object as client and then I'm going to use uh, a factory class here let's just say create sorry I'm sorry client builder dot uh, new new client so don't forget to import all the classes which you, which you are going to use I'm just going to import all the classes so this is the way how you create a client 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 object and then client builder uh, factory class and then a new client so this is uh, the first step in creating a client now when you are creating any advanced web service clients you might want to you know configure your client based on your requirement well if you want to configure your client you can just create another class called uh, configure client or class configure I don't remember it exactly and you can just pass an object as a parameter here so that's the way uh, how you create a client but for now we don't need to worry about any configuration just 
stick to the basic configuration all right now that you have a client the next thing is obviously we need to set a target the target is nothing but a web resource i mean web service resource which you want to point out okay uh, now uh, we can create target using web target class all right i'm gonna call my target as let's just say uh, let's just say target and then uh, you're just going to select the client which you want to set the target and then you're going to use target function well there's nothing new here just very very simple basic functions well as a parameter you're just going to specify the URI of the resource well uh, if you're working on real world applications you will you will get resource but uh, I'm going to I'm going to use my resource which I have developed in my last video so if you guys have checked my video how to create a restful web service in Java so in that video I have created a web service just to uh, just to specify the book price so if I pass my book name as Java it's going to respond as 500 that's the book price and if I specify as PHP it's going to respond with the particular price of the book so this is the basic web service input is going to be book name and response is going to be the price of the particular book so I'm going to use this web resource now so I'm going to set my target as this resource so here you you can just change input to whatever you want but uh, let's just say PHP for now alright so now you have set a target uh, don't forget to import that class alright so the next thing is you need to get response whatever the response uh, your web service is sending to you alright so you can you can use functions again so before using function I'm just gonna dump whatever the response is getting alright okay use this target and then so uh, I'm going to explain two functions here the first function is you know request function uh, well request function typically specifies uh, what is the request format you want uh, whether you want a uh, response in XML or JSON or just plain text or just like that so I'm going to respond uh, as you can see my response is in XML so I'm just gonna specify my request as XML so you can do that by media type so if you're wondering what is media type I think I have specified clearly in my last video how to in my last video so if you can if you guys want to know how to create a web service you can just check my previous video uh, media type dot uh, let's just say text right text HTML sorry text XML so now we are specifying that uh, we want response in you know XML so on the last thing is uh, we just want to specify what is the HTTP method we are going to use suppose if you are sending HTTP get request we'll just say get and if you are using any post request you're just going to say post like that so but for now it's just a get request for me so I'm just going to use a get function so depending on your requirement you might want to use get post put or even delete so for now it's just get so uh, I'm just going to specify string dot class now just to dump the output string dot class well uh, this is the uh, guys this is a simple web service client uh, I'm gonna explain it again you have created a client using client and client builder classes and then you have specified a target what's the target uh, you, you, you you want your client to point to and then the last thing is you just uh, getting the response from the client from the resource so uh, let me quickly run this program and let's just see if it's working fine or not alright if you see it in console I have a XML response here so this is a very basic uh, tutorial as I told you so when you're working on your real-world client application you might want to use uh, different libraries to pass this XML so I'm not going to worry about passing XML or JSON etc so this is a typical 
web service client guys so this is very very basic tutorial guys in my upcoming video i'll try to explain some advanced concepts like how to send a post request delete request etc so don't forget to subscribe us uh, thanks for watching stay tuned